Uh, Jonathan, uh, this is uh, Dr. Jones and our internal medicine service team. Hi. Hi, Jonathan. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be presenting your case uh, to them. Is that all right if I do that in the presence of your girlfriend and uh, coworker here? Yes, right. that's fine. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, so this is uh, the first UMC visit for Jonathan, who is a 24-year-old African-American um, with a history of sickle cell disease who presented with, to the emergency department uh, with a two-day history of bilateral knee pain. He's ectomorphic and is in moderate distress. Uh, the pain began Tuesday at approximately 4 a.m. Uh, while he was working a night shift at Walmart. He had uh, difficulty sleeping because of the pain uh, that night, and the pain gradually continued to increase due uh, to, to a severity of 8 out of 10 today. The pain was exacerbated with walking and standing um, and was not significantly relieved with Percocet, um, which he received from another physician that we um, aren't sure who it was. Um, Jonathan has never experienced knee pain to this extent before, but he did say that he's had a few um, a few episodes in the distant past of knee pain. Um, the report he reports some chills and a uh, mild shortness of breath, and but he denied fever, nausea, vomiting, cough, chest pain, abdominal pain, or recent trauma to the knees. Um, he has no other known medical illness um, and isn't on any chronic medication for sickle cell disease either. Uh, in the ED, he was given an IV bolus and received two doses of morphine at six milligrams and eight milligram doses. For past medical history, uh, he was diagnosed with sickle cell disease at age six and has had six to eight previous hospitalizations um, for that. Um, he has a history of uh, lower extremity ulcers as well, um, but he has never had a pneumococcal vaccine, which is interesting. Uh, his social history includes uh, he's, he lives with his mother and four siblings. He works at Walmart as a stalker, um, but denies any IV uh, drug use or tobacco use. Um, he does consume alcohol uh, occasionally, and last time was this last weekend. Uh, he has two siblings that also have sickle cell disease. Um, in the review of systems, uh, it was negative except for lower extremity ulcers and intermittent left hand pain. Uh, in his vitals, he had a temperature of 36.3 degrees Celsius, heart rate of 96, a uh, respiratory rate of 16, uh, blood pressure of 108 over 70, and his O2 saturation was 89% on room air. Um, for Hent, uh, he's normocephalic, atraumatic, perlet, uh, and extraocular movements are intact. Uh, with lungs, they're clear to auscultation and percussion with uh, no wheezes, rails, or bronchi. Um, CV, his S1, S2 were normal. Uh, he is tachycardic with a soft flow murmur heard at the base. Um, there was no S4, but he does have decreased pedal pulses. Um, for abdominal exam, bowel sounds are normal and the spleen tip was not palpable. Uh, GU, he didn't have any urethral discharge either. Um, for skin, he had a silver scaly rash on the flexor surface of the right elbow, uh, and there are non-healing bilateral ulcers of one centimeter diameter. Um, on both medial malleoli. Uh, for musculoskeletal, he has mild swelling of the right knee and small effusion. Um, there's no erythema, and it's not tender to palpation, but there was pain on full extension. His left knee didn't have any significant swelling or tenderness, uh, and it did, he did have full range of motion bilaterally with his knees. Now, in lab work, we have a CBC, BMP, and liver function test pending, and so uh, in conclusion, or uh, in summary, Jonathan, uh, he's a 24-year-old African-American uh, man with a history of sickle cell disease and hypoxia. He presented the emergency department with bilateral knee pain and minor right knee effusion. On the differential diagnosis, we have uh, vaso-occlusive disease, uh, periarticular infarct, septic arthritis, and gout. Vaso-occlusive disease is most likely due to the afebrile presentation of the patient. Um, and the pending CBC results will likely rule out septic arthritis uh, due to a gram-negative Neisseria staph or salmonella. Uh, potential plans of treatment include knee pain. Um, well, for knee pain, we would consider NSAID treatment with morphine for breakthrough pain. Uh, for sickle cell disease, uh, we should monitor closely for acute um, chest syndrome, splenic sequestration, and aplastic crisis, um, and consult a hemonc um, for a sickle cell uh, referral after he is released from the hospital. Um, and then we should also obtain a chest x-ray to rule out new infiltrates and consider oxygen therapy if uh, he becomes symptomatic in his lungs again. All right, any questions? 
Well, I'd also recommend adding two liters of oxygen via nasal cannula. Um, I think that'd be a great idea. And great job, Bryce. You really were very thorough. Um, thank you for letting us present in front of you. That was really great. Thank you.